Yeah, investigators say they have surveillance video that shows these teens push the cyclist to the ground and then repeatedly kicked, stomped, and punched him. It's taken weeks to identify suspects, but I obtained court documents that outline what police know so far. The attack happened here on Central Avenue in Kent. Investigators say surveillance video shows the group surround a man on a bike, knock him to the ground, and viciously beat him, including one teen who investigators say, quote, knocks the victim to the ground where he kicks his head with his right foot as a soccer player would kick a soccer ball. That man later died in the hospital. This stretch all the way down to um, 3rd Avenue is really bad. Made lives near here and says she's been on alert after recent assaults involving teenagers. I'm just speechless. I can't believe that happened to him and he didn't deserve that. And I hope that he's, you know, he's in a better place. Prosecutors just charged two teens in connection to the fatal attack in mid-August. They are ages 16 and 17 and police say they've identified and are looking for a 15 year old as well. I'm sure a lot more will come out about this case. Uh, the key is getting people to, to share information with police investigators who can then get it to us to show it to the court beyond a reasonable doubt. For now, prosecutors say they had enough to charge two teens with assault in juvenile court. Police are calling this a murder. Why are the cases only filed in juvenile court as assault? We've charged what we can prove now. When we get the medical examiner's report, that can change things, certainly. Prosecutors add once the medical examiner's report is released, the charges could be upgraded to murder, which would send the 16 and 17 year old suspects to adult court. For now, one teen is still in custody, while the second has been released on home monitoring. I really do hope that they get what they deserve. They deserve to be behind bars. So disturbing all around, but here's one thing that stuck out to me from one of the witness accounts of this case. They described one of the suspects in the beating as a small child. Investigators say that some of the youth that were involved in the assault from the surveillance video appear to be between 8 and 10 years old. Police are still looking to identify everyone who was involved. Police also say the medical examiner's report should be done soon. That will then be given to prosecutors who will decide on murder charges. Reporting live in King County, Jeremy Harris, Como News.